for a close-up look at all your Conjo Valley High School football. This is Inside the Game. Sponsored by Mitchell Automotive Group. Hello, everyone, and welcome into KSAN's Inside the Game. I'm your host, Griff McClellan. It's like Christmas morning across the Lone Star State tonight as the 2024 season kicks off. Starting at Lakeview, eighth-year head coach Hector Guevara and the Chiefs begin their 2024 season on the road at Fort Stockton. The Chiefs seek a bounce-back year after going 1-9 just a season ago. Lakeview's roster lacks overall size this season, but will look for ways to change this weakness into a strength. The Chiefs haven't had a winning record since 2004, but there's room for optimism with 12 returning starters, including quarterback Austin Perez. Coach Guevara is impressed with not only Perez's style of play, but also his character both on and off the field. Uh, he's, 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 uh, he does a great job just, you know, getting a pre-snap read. Um, he's calm. You know, he don't panic too much. And uh, uh, as far as off the field, he's just, you know, a good kid. He just he works hard. He wants the kids to, to perform well. And, and uh, he's, you know, he, he's, uh, <coughs> his selfless actions, uh, you know, just uh, mean a lot to the team that, you know, he doesn't, he's humble in what he does. Austin Perez returns this season at QB, and the Chiefs look to continue that chemistry early this season. Chiefs get on the board first with a quick strike to number three to go up six against the Panthers. Next, Panthers with the ball this time. QB drops, drops back for the play, and it's number one for the Chiefs, who lays the hit to jar the ball free a little later in the game. Austin Perez up next, leading the Chiefs set to deliver a beautiful ball to number four for the long first down completion. Lakeview would walk away with a vic the win tonight. Now, Wall traveled to Mason this evening in a marquee week one matchup. New Wall head coach Craig Slaughter makes his debut, and Mason sought redemption after last season's area round exit. Game time was delayed due to weather. These teams have met every year since 2018 with Wall winning four of six. And Craig Slaughter is heading home happy tonight, with the Hawks pulling off a dominant lead as we speak right now, 28-6, in his coaching debut. Now, over at San Angelo Stadium this evening, the dawn of a new era as Mark Smith officially begins his tenure as Bobcats head coach. The 2024 season and home opener for Central hosting Abilene High tonight. Kick things off in the first quarter, Central trailing 7-0. Bobcat quarterback Christian English unleashes a bomb downfield. Check out this catch here by Jimmy Edwards to come down with it and set up CHS in the red zone, which then sets up this squeaky finds pay dirt in the Bobcats. First touchdown of the year is on the ground, tied at seven apiece. Fast forward to the second quarter. CHS now trailing 21-7. Squeaky goes to the air this time, finding a cutting wide open Jimmy Edwards. The pitch and catch cuts the Bobcats deficit to seven once again. Final minute of the first half, Central down 14. Squeaky able to get away from the pressure, finds Colton Hill and lets him do the rest. Makes one man miss, fights off a tackle at the goal line for the square. After the two-point conversion, it's 28-22 Abilene at the half. But that would be as close as Central gets. Abilene crushing the Bobcats in the season opener tonight, 60-36. to We're now going to send it over to our very own Sean Torres, who is live at Central High, with some post-game insight in tonight's game. Sean? Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, uh, to San Angelo Stadium. I am Sean Torres with KSAN Sports. And today we got to witness a very fun, action-packed game today. The final score was 60 to 36. Abilene High won. Um, home team can't win every time, but that's fine. Um, today they showed why they're the ranked eight team in the state. They did amazing from beginning to end. Guns are blazing. They did everything they could. Number three for them did amazing. Every time you looked up, he was downfield scoring a touchdown, getting a 60-yard catch, doing doing the most. And I think he had three touchdowns by halftime. He did phenomenal. And on the central side, they could have got the run going a little bit better. But other than that, Squeaky English and Hill, number 12 Hill, they had a connection going the whole game. They It was left and right. You look up, Squeaky to Hill, Squeaky to Hill, con consistently back and forth. They did amazing. They're going to be fun to watch throughout the season this year. The fans, they loved it. They were in it the whole time from beginning to end. They were they were loud, going, getting these kids going back and forth. It was amazing. It was fun to watch, really. Um, this year, we're, we're here to see the, the, the back end of Central's season. But other than that, that's all I got for y'all. So this has been Sean Torres at San Angelo Stadium. Back to y'all. This live shot is sponsored by AFCO Steel. TLCA San Angelo and Tohoka clash in a battle of 3A versus 2A. 
The Eagles and Bulldogs both come off by district round exits last season. But it was all to Hoka tonight, blanking TLCA San Angelo 54 to nothing. Damage was done in the first half as the Bulldogs led 48 nothing at halftime. For a pretty unique final score, the first matchup between the two is in the books. Meanwhile, Grape Creek traveled to San Saba. Both teams missed in the playoffs last season. Looking to start hard this year. Final score, 14 to two, the first matchup since 2007. Heading now to the Brady Bulldogs host the San Antonio YMLA Lions in another first ever matchup. Both teams come off by district losses last season. YMLA finished five and six last season, Brady three and eight. But Brady got the ideal start to this season and what turned out to be another shutout, Brady cruising as of now 27 to nothing, going home with a 1-0 start this season. We're going to take a quick break, but we'll be back with more Contra Valley football highlights. Stick around, we've got lots of coverage. Welcome back everyone to Inside the Game. Let's resume the show with a look out in Cristobal, where the Cougars hosted first year head coach William Robledo and the El Dorado Eagles. Now these rivals have met every year since 2016 when head coach Casey Otho took over, but El Dorado has won the last two and drew first blood tonight, leading six nothing early. But the Cougars quickly responded right back, tying the game at six apiece. The El Dorado showing toughness all night, reclaiming the lead right here on a pick six by linebacker Jonah Pencusk en route to a commanding 20 to 13 lead as scores as we last checked to begin the season. Time for another key week one matchup where the Sonora Broncos hosted the Miles Bulldogs for the first meeting between these schools since 1947. These two come off winning seasons, Sonora going 11 and two and reaching the regional quarterfinals, while Miles was eight and four with an area round appearance. The Bulldogs were barking in the first half, led 18 to eight at halftime and never looked back, eventually winning 32 to 14 on the road. Ozona welcomed the McCamey Badgers to Lions Stadium for the team's first mini since 2017. Now both teams clinched a playoff berth last season. McCamey five and six, Ozona six and five. But Ozona has gotten the better of McCamey in recent memory, previously winning eight of the last 10 matchups and now make that nine of the last 11. Ozona breaking McCamey's hearts 60 to nothing tonight. The Junction Eagles begin their new season with an advantage unlike any other, a full starting lineup of returning players. JHS was 6-5 last year, opened 2024 on the road at Gulfweight for a matchup with the Eagles, the first meeting between the two since 2019. It was pretty tight in the first half. Junction was up 7-6 in a defensive battle, but things quickly turned around in the second half as the Eagles emerged victorious 40-6. Head coach DJ Howell made his debut for the Sterling City Eagles, another coaching debut, hosting the Odessa Compass Cougars tonight. Both teams were playoff bound as well last season as OCC finished 4-7, SC 6-4. This marked the third straight meeting between the teams with Sterling City winning the previous two in shutout fashion, this time trailing 38-25 as we speak in the fourth quarter. We're going to take another quick break, but stay put exactly where you are because we still have lots of week one content for you. Up next. Football fans, welcome back to the show. Let's dive into some six-man action now. The Erie and County Hornets hosted the Buena Vista Longhorns in a matchup of eight-win teams from last season. Buena Vista reached the area playoff round while ICHS reached by district. This is the team's fourth straight year playing each other. The Longhorns lead eight and four all time, including two of the last three. 2021 was the first meeting since 1984. Now, Robert Lee comes off a postseason berth last year. The Steers welcomed the Lorraine Bulldogs into town in the first matchup between these two since 2013. It's been 11 years. Wow. Robert Lee leads the series 20 to 10 all time. Lorraine comes off a four and eight season, reaching the area round while Robert Lee went eight and three, but fell early in the by district round. It was all steers tonight. Robert Lee up 72 28 at last check in the fourth quarter. The very best Falcons and Zephyr Bulldogs met for the fifth consecutive year. The Falcons winning three of the last four heading into tonight. Zephyr was 7-3 last year, while Verabest missed the playoffs despite an impressive 8-2 overall record. Pick things up in the first quarter, Verabest punching it in across for the touchdown, drawing first blood, 6-0 Falcons after a missed extra point. But later in the first, Zephyr responding, tying the game at 6, diving for the pylon. Next, Verabest drive, momentum swings back the Bulldogs' direction off this diving interception. Check out that highlight real play. Game tied at 6 to end the first quarter. Pretty tight game up to this point, all tied at 14 at halftime. Zephyr currently on top 22 to 14 as we speak in the third quarter. Water Valley returns to six-man action after a two-year absence. 
The Wildcats played six man between 2002 and 2021, and now a new chapter begins. Water Valley played host to the Grand Falls Royalty Cowboys tonight in the first matchup featuring these two since 2013 again. In a series, the Wildcats lead 6-1 and one all time. Talk about domination. Make that 7-1 and one now. The Wildcats showing no mercy, led by as many as 37 early. As early as the second quarter, Water Valley cruising to a now 54-6. This just in a 48-point win on opening night. The Eden Bulldogs and Paint Rock Indians meeting this evening as well. Paint Rock coming off a 6-5 and five season, reaching the by district round last year. Eden finished 2-7. and seven. This was the first matchup between the two teams since 2021. Eden getting the better of Paint Rock tonight, winning 58-12 to 12 on the road. Now the Menard Yellow Jackets and Blanket Tigers met in week one to kick off this 2024 season. Menard 6-4 last year, Blanket 5-5, five five, pretty evenly matched teams. This night was historic for both schools, meeting each other for the first time since 1961. Now, 1960 and 61 marked the only two previous times these teams have met with the series tied at one, still awaiting a final score there. Our final game of the night, featuring a lot of buzz, the Blackwell Hornets hosted the Aspermont Hornets, meeting for the third straight year. Aspermont, Aspermont won both the previous games. This marked new head coach Wiley Cummings' debut for Blackwell, and we're still waiting a final score as well. But that's not all. We'll be back with more coverage right after the break. Once again, stay right where you are. Don't, don't leave. Don't go anywhere. You don't want to miss it. Now, our Dr. Pepper Trivia Challenge returns for a new year as each week you head to our website to answer questions about this week's games happening in and around the Concho Valley. Now, how many playoff appearances do the Sonora Broncos have all time in their school history? Is it either A, 2, B, 17, C, 57, or D, 39? Visit our Concho Valley, Concho Valley homepage to submit your answer. Again, our website, ConchoValleyHomepage.com, to answer this week's questions and future weeks as well for a chance at winning a $20 Walmart gift card. Who doesn't want that? Now that we've taken a peek at every game across the Contra Valley tonight, let's recap some of the most notable headlines. Week one is in the books, but looking ahead to week two, or, um, here's some key matchups you don't want to miss. San Angelo Central versus Amarillo. San Angelo Central falling 60-36 tonight in head coach Mark Smith's debut. Not an ideal start, but looking to rebound next week. Next up on the list, Snyder versus Lakeview. Le Lakeview looking to rebound as well at home. Sterling City, new head coach DJ Howell traveling to Miles to face Jason Wilhelm and his squad. And finally, some six-man action, Paint Rock versus Lorraine. That is a wrap for tonight. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you next week. for Inside the Game is provided by Chick-fil-A. Inside the Game is sponsored by Mitchell Automotive Group.